Analgesic, Wikipedia article audio. An analgesic or painkiller is any member of the group of drugs used to achieve analgesia, relief from pain. Analgesic drugs act in various ways on the peripheral and central nervous systems. They are distinct from anesthetics, which temporarily affect, and in some instances completely eliminate, sensation. Analgesics include paracetamol, the nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as the salicylates, and opioid drugs such as morphine and oxycodone. Uses Contraindications When choosing analgesics, the severity and response to other medication determines the choice of agent. The World Health Organization pain ladder specifies mild analgesics as its first step. Analgesic choice is also determined by the type of pain. For neuropathic pain, traditional analgesics are less effective, and there is often benefit from classes of drugs that are not normally considered analgesics, such as tricyclic antidepressants and anticonvulsants. Topical nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug S provided pain relief in common conditions such as muscle sprains and overuse injuries. Since the side effects are also lesser, topical preparations could be preferred over oral medications in these conditions. Each different type of analgesic has its own associated side effects. Analgesics are typically classified based on their mechanism of action. Classification Paracetamol, also known as acetaminophen or APAP, is a medication used to treat pain and fever. It is typically used for mild to moderate pain. In combination with opioid pain medication, Paracetamol is now used for more severe pain such as cancer pain and after surgery. It is typically used either by mouth or rectally but is also available intravenously. Effects last between 2 and 4 hours. Paracetamol is classified as a mild analgesic. Paracetamol is generally safe at recommended doses. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are a drug class that groups together drugs that decrease pain and lower fever, and, in higher doses decrease inflammation. The most prominent members of this group of drugs, aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen, are all available over-the-counter in most countries. Paracetamol These drugs have been derived from NSAIDs. The cyclooxygenase enzyme inhibited by NSAIDs was discovered to have at least two different versions, COX1 and COX2. Research suggested most of the adverse effects of NSAIDs to be mediated by blocking the COX1 enzyme, with the analgesic effects being mediated by the COX2 enzyme. Thus, the COX2 inhibitors were developed to inhibit only the COX2 enzyme. These drugs are equally effective analgesics when compared with NSAIDs, but cause less gastrointestinal hemorrhage in particular. After widespread adoption of the COX2 inhibitors, it was discovered that most of the drugs in this class increase the risk of cardiovascular events by 40% on average. This led to the withdrawal of rofecoxib and valdecoxib, and warnings on others. Etoricoxib seems relatively safe, with the risk of thrombotic events similar to that of noncoxib NSAID diclofenac. Morphine, the archetypal opioid, and other opioids all exert a similar influence on the cerebral opioid receptor system. Buprenorphine is a partial agonist of the muopioid receptor, and tramadol is a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor with weak muopioid receptor agonist properties. 
Tramadol is structurally closer to venlafaxine than to codeine and delivers analgesia by not only delivering opioid-like effects but also by acting as a weak but fast-acting serotonin-releasing agent and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. Tapentadol, with some structural similarities to tramadol, presents what is believed to be a novel drug working through two different modes of action in the fashion of both a traditional opioid and as a SNRI. The effects of serotonin and norepinephrine on pain, while not completely understood, have had causal links established and drugs in the SNRI class are commonly used in conjunction with opioids with greater success in pain relief. Dosing of all opioids may be limited by opioid toxicity, seizures, but opioid-tolerant individuals usually have higher dose ceilings than patients without tolerance. Opioids, while very effective analgesics, may have some unpleasant side effects. Patients starting morphine may experience nausea and vomiting. Pruritus may require switching to a different opioid. Constipation occurs in almost all patients on opioids, and laxatives are typically CO prescribed. NSAIDs When used appropriately, opioids and other central analgesics are otherwise safe and effective, however risks such as addiction and the body's becoming used to the drug can occur. The effect of tolerance means that frequent use of the drug may result in its diminished effects so, when safe to do so, the dosage may need to be increased to maintain effectiveness. This may be of particular concern regarding patients suffering with chronic pain. Opioid tolerance is often addressed with opioid rotation therapy in which a patient is routinely switched between two or more non-cross-tolerant opioid medications in order to prevent exceeding safe dosages in the attempt to achieve an adequate analgesic effect. COX-2 Inhibitors Describing the effects of using alcohol to treat pain is difficult. Alcohol has biological, mental, and social effects which influence the consequences of using alcohol for pain. Moderate use of alcohol can lessen certain types of pain in certain circumstances. Attempting to use alcohol to treat pain has also been observed to lead to negative outcomes including excessive drinking and alcohol use disorder. Opioids Medical cannabis or medical marijuana, can refer to the use of cannabis and its cannabinoids to treat disease or improve symptoms. There is evidence suggesting that cannabis can be used to treat chronic pain and muscle spasms, with some trials indicating improved relief of neuropathic pain over opioids. Analgesics are frequently used in combination such as the paracetamol and codeine preparations found in many non-prescription pain relievers. They can also be found in combination with vasoconstrictor drugs such as pseudoephedrine for sinus-related preparations, or with antihistamine drugs for allergy sufferers. Alcohol while the use of paracetamol, aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, and other NSAIDs concurrently with weak to mid-range opiates has been said to show beneficial synergistic effects by combating pain at multiple sites of action, several combination analgesic products have been shown to have few efficacy benefits when compared to similar doses of their individual components. Moreover, these combination analgesics can often result in significant adverse events, including accidental overdoses, most often due to confusion that arises from the multiple components of these combinations. Many people use alternative medicine treatments including drugs for pain relief. There is some evidence that some treatments using alternative medicine can relieve some types of pain more effectively than placebo. The available research concludes that more research would be necessary to better understand the use of alternative medicine. 
Other psychotropic analgesic agents include ketamine, clonidine, and other alpha-2 adrenoreceptor agonists, and mexiletine and other local anesthetic analogs. Drugs that have been introduced for uses other than analgesics are also used in pain management. Both first-generation and newer antidepressants are used alongside NSAIDs and opioids for pain involving nerve damage and similar problems. Other agents directly potentiate the effects of analgesics, such as using hydroxyzine, promethazine, carisoprodol, or triplanamine to increase the pain-killing ability of a given dose of opioid analgesic. Adjuvant analgesics also called atypical analgesics, include nifopam, orphanadrine, pregabalin, gabapentin, cyclobenzaprine, hosina, and other drugs possessing anticonvulsant, anticholinergic, and slash or antispasmodic properties, as well as many other drugs with CNS actions. These drugs are used along with analgesics to modulate and slash or modify the action of opioids when used against pain, especially of neuropathic origin. Medical Cannabis Dextromethorphan has been noted to slow the development of tolerance to opioids and exert additional analgesia by acting upon the NMDA receptors. Some analgesics such as methadone and ketobemidone and perhaps pyritramide have intrinsic NMDA action. Combinations High alcohol liquor, two forms of which were found in the U.S. pharmacopoeia up until 1916 and in common use by physicians well into the 1930s, has been used in the past as an agent for dulling pain due to the CNS depressant effects of ethyl alcohol, a notable example being the American Civil War. However, the ability of alcohol to relieve severe pain is likely inferior to many analgesics used today. As such, in general, the idea of alcohol for analgesia is considered a primitive practice in virtually all industrialized countries today. The use of adjuvant analgesics is an important and growing part of the pain control field and new discoveries are made practically every year. Many of these drugs combat the side effects of opioid analgesics, an added bonus. For example, antihistamines including orphanadrine combat the release of histamine caused by many opioids. Stimulants such as methylphenidate, caffeine, ephedrine, dextroamphetamine, methamphetamine, and cocaine work against heavy sedation and may elevate mood in distressed patients as do the antidepressants. The use of medicinal cannabis remains a debated issue. In patients with chronic or neuropathic pain, various other substances may have analgesic properties. Tricyclic antidepressants, especially clomipramine and amitriptyline, have been shown to improve pain in what appears to be a central manner. Nifopam is used in Europe for pain relief with concurrent opioids. The exact mechanism of carbamazepine, gabapentin, and pregabalin is similarly unclear, but these anticonvulsants are used to treat neuropathic pain with differing degrees of success. Anticonvulsants are most commonly used for neuropathic pain as their mechanism of action tends to inhibit pain sensation. Flopertin is a centrally acting K and channel opener with weak NMDA antagonist properties. It is used in Europe for moderate to strong pain and migraine and its muscle relaxant properties. It has no anticholinergic properties and is believed to be devoid of any activity on dopamine, serotonin, or histamine receptors. It is not addictive, and tolerance usually does not develop. However, tolerance may develop in single cases. Alternative Medicine Psychotropic Agents Other Drugs other uses Topical analgesia is generally recommended to avoid systemic side effects.
painful joints, for example, may be treated with an ibuprofen, or diclofenic containing gel, capsaicin also is used topically. Lidocaine, an anesthetic, and steroids may be injected into painful joints for longer term pain relief. Lidocaine is also used for painful mouth sores and to numb areas for dental work and minor medical procedures. In February 2007 the FDA notified consumers and healthcare professionals of the potential hazards of topical anesthetics entering the bloodstream when applied in large doses to the skin without medical supervision. These topical anesthetics contain anesthetic drugs such as lidocaine, tetracaine, benzocaine, and prilocaine in a cream, ointment, or gel. The word analgesic derives from Greek an, algos, and ekos. Such drugs were usually known as anodynes before the 20th century. Some novel and investigational analgesics include subtype selective voltage gated sodium channel blockers such as funipid and raxatrogene, as well as multimodal agents such as ralfenamide. List of drugs with comparison Etymology Research Notes